Well, no, I want them to see down here. Oh, well, they I can't see that Yes, they could. There we go. Is that? I think so. Hi, are we on? Is this thing on? We got yeah. a couple cameras going. Okay, well, this needs to come a little bit closer. Why? Okay, we're about to start. We just have no idea, or I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, then I guess you can't see that anyways yeah. now. Okay, push you back a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I just want to be able to see the table. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Okay, so we are going to start. Um, you should pull up your phone on one of these so you can see if, like, questions come in. We can probably read those in the chat. But if you yeah. at some point. From the Netherlands. Good morning. Okay. The, where Nieder is, the Netherlands? Where is the notch? So we're going to be making carnivore... Am I yelling? Extremely. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, I forgot to like redo my hair. Oh, well. Um, Carnivore Eggs Benedict. So I'm going to be making, sorry, we've got two cameras going on. We're multitasking. Two birds. <clears throat> We're going to be making a pork rind muffin. Pork Sounds rind so lovely. Um, and a hollandaise sauce, an easy hollandaise sauce, like a blender sauce. Uh, and poaching eggs. Can we start with the poached eggs? And I know, Jeff's like starving. What, have a snack or something. Take That's what I'm looking off. for. Um, Ooh, patties. Poached eggs. Hi from South Carolina. <laughs> Melissa Evans. We're, Charleston's there, right? I spent some time in Charleston. They have good food. Love you back. Okay, um, and then we're doing, Jeff likes ham. Why am I yelling? I don't know. I get excited. Yes. Jeff yes. likes ham. I don't like I'm ham. I'm the only one in the world. So I'm going to do bacon instead of ham. And normally... Are you going to make the, the woven bacon patty? No. Normally I would bake bacon in the oven for at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, but just for... Oh, that's handy. Just for time, I'm going to just do some in the air fryer. So we got two shows going on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot happening here. Okay, so first we're just gonna dive in and we're gonna make the pork muffin thing. Sounds like that sounds like another one of your butter muncher. <laughs> yes. Derogatory. Your term. pork muffin. Your pork muffin. Okay, so oh my gosh, the children. We just set them up with some play-doh, so hopefully that kind of like entertains them. Okay, so first of all, I just got this. Dallas, Texas. Hi, we're going to be in Austin soon for KetoCon. What? Okay, I'll make you some later. Skeet Addle. Um, I just bought these on Amazon, pork panko. It's actually, well, time saver because you're not grinding up your own and it's cheaper, like per ounce or whatever. Oops. <laughs> okay, pork muffin. Fourth of a cup of pork rinds, one tablespoon of melted butter, one egg, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, mix it all up, put it in a ramekin, and you're going to microwave it for 90 seconds, and that is all. Abri, abri, so, abri, abri. This isn't actually my recipe, and I forgot to grab the name of who. I've made it before, and I've tagged her, but she's not like a food channel. She does like skincare or something, and I totally am blanking on what it was. Okay, so fourth of a cup, so this is an eighth of a cup. And guys, let us know if you have any questions, like carnivore, cooking, whatever. Jeff's here to answer things. <laughs> do I do um, hot or ice today? Do ice. Should we pull? Iced coffee or hot coffee today? Okay, tablespoon of melted butter. So this is the butter, and I'm going to microwave it in this to melt it, and this is also what I'm going to make the muffin in. What? Nothing. Oh, I thought you just said. I did. I did. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, we do eat fish, not as a primary protein source, but yes, occasionally. Salmon. Yeah, we prioritize would... beef, but we do have we eat the rainbow of animals. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, we eat seafood, chicken, yeah. pork. How can I start eating carnivore? Just eat it. Just eat, eat meat. meat. <laughs> eat meat. Um, I mean, that's a, obviously that's a simple answer, but it can be very nuanced. 
what are you eating now? Is it just standard American diet? Are you keto? Are you uh, fruitarian? And I have a lot of, was this coming from TikTok? Yeah. I have a lot of um, YouTube videos on how to get started in the link in my bio. I actually have a super affordable ebook too, which has all that information consolidated into a little ebook on how to get started. And okay, so real quick, fourth of a cup of pork rinds. I just added the baking soda. I'm going to add an egg and the melted butter, and then we're going to microwave it for 90 seconds. I want to know seconds. if you drink bean water. Yes. With cream, what do you do? Um, I typically ha have it black. I'm trying to be off dairy. I was off dairy once again for like 10 days, and I kind of like went overboard on the dairy yesterday, and I felt like garbage. So I think I learned my lesson and I, I was trying to just have it like once in a while and it's hard for me to moderate dairy. Like kind of just want to binge it a little bit, especially like heavy cream. So yeah, I just have black, but when I do have cream, a lot of cream, like no, there's no in between. I don't want it like watered down with cream. <laughs> All right, I'm being lazy, so I'm going to stick with hot. I don't want to make a nice concoction. Okay. What am I doing? Egg, is that everything? Did it take a while for your digestive system to adjust? Um, not really. I mean, once in a while, there would be like a run to the bathroom situation, but like it wasn't bad as like people make it seem. Um, if I got a lot of tips to help you on that. If you are having digestive issues, <clears throat> there's a few things you can try and take. Ox bile or lipase and those are both two different things um try one or the other from what i've heard it doesn't if it doesn't work it's not like causing any like harm and it's just something you want to take like just for a few weeks so you can always try that but i would say no hot rendered fat if you're having bathroom issues minimize it um, yeah. i would chew your food really 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 good so that way like your saliva is doing all the work and breaking everything down so your stomach has to do less I would not drink any water um, or try not to drink. <laughs> no, try not to drink while you're eating because that's going to dilute um, your stomach acids. And um, yeah, chew really good. Get up and walk for a little bit after um, after you eat to get things flowing. Anything else? Sure. No, that's it. Hydration, electrolytes. Electrolytes. It's just most people are fine. Some people do have issues, but... Everyone that uh, has had issues, you know, maybe a week or two. Ease just, into the fat even. Just stick it out and then you'll get there. Uh, they want to know, you got to treat this like a uh, radio where you're constantly saying, so they want to know what's being made. Oh, people okay. Are always tuning in and there. they're coming in and yeah. wondering what we're, I know. If you, you know, just I should like, have in. a sign like written backwards. Oh, I just wiped egg on me. I'm making yeah, eggs yeah. Benedict. So this is a pork rind muffin. So I'm going to microwave this and that will be ready and I'll cut it in half. I'll probably toast it. Um, and then we're going to poach some eggs. I should probably just get that simmering. I'm um, going to make uh, an easy um, hollandaise sauce, blender hollandaise sauce. Um, the ingredients I'm using, you could also do a double boiler whisking thing. Um, Get rid, any tips to get rid of the sweet tooth still having stevia in my coffee? Get rid of the stevia. The only way to get rid of the sweet tooth is to stop having it. It won't take long, but you got to get rid of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a vicious cycle. Um, so stop it and give it some time. But if you are having cravings in the moment, I would suggest taking a bite of butter, having a little sprinkle of salt on your tongue or drinking some salt water. Um, or like drinking your electrolytes kind of helps. So just stay hydrated, eating enough. And yeah, it gets easier. Once in a while, it's like, you'll see something like, oh, that donut would be delicious, but then it passes right by. You're not gonna like sit there and be like, oh my gosh, I want it so bad. Like it will get easier as you give it time. Hold on, stay right there, Hazel. Don't come in here. Stop, 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 stop. Um, yeah, Frank, I have. Yeah, I'm on YouTube, and then I also decided to put another device up to go live on TikTok as well. When you're off dairy, do you use a butter substitute? So, no, I have been keeping butter in, even though, yes, there is some milk proteins in there. Butter hasn't seemed to be an issue for me, for me, but I have been toying with the idea of giving it up and just having tallow, so we will see. I just love my butter so much. 
Um, you want to try the carnivore diet to see if it helps with your fatigue and pain from fibromyalgia. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I've heard wonderful success stories with that. I mean, it helped my like fatigue and stuff, but specifically, I can't say that word. I have heard um, wonderful things that has helped with that. All right, so I'm pouring this in. Go to microwave it for 90 seconds, and then we will have our muffin. You just stick a grass-fed butter a day, lots of beef and pink salt. This diet has reversed my rheumatoid. God, How high am I? Why am I high? Because I'm distracted. I'm trying to answer questions and cook at the same time. Um, this diet has reversed your rheumatoid arthritis. I love it. I mean, I don't want to say this is like a miracle drug, but honestly, it seems to be addressing everybody's issues. Pinko, yeah, we make chicken nuggets with it. Yeah, I still need, I've made it my own, like grinding and making nuggets, but I'm excited to, this is my first time actually using it. Um, nuggets. Already ground up. Um, electrolytes, what do you use? Um, then just add more water for the element. If you don't like it that salty, but yeah, I just I just started with element. Woo. Well, um, well, that's the thing, I had to use like, I had to fill up my 16 ounce glass like three or four times to like dilute all of it out. It's, okay. It's a lot. Yeah, so I just got it. Well, I feel like it's so far away that I need to be loud. So it's two feet away, and really? they're like miles away. You're fine. Um, but yeah, I've gone nine months without using this electrolyte drink. I just, I'm a drink person, so when I try to free sample, I'm like, oh my gosh, it tasted good. It tasted better than just salt water. So I just use a lot of salt. And I once in a while will take a magnesium. Um, I feel like everyone should take magnesium. Um, I can't give out medical advice around people get squirrely. Um, but I read something that like 80% of the population, no matter what diet you're having, um, you're deficient in magnesium. And it's also linked to health with anxiety, which I clearly have issues about. There's a lot that I like can't see if you want to read those to me. Okay, what else is happening? Let's get some bacon going. I'm just gonna air fry it to make it easier and quicker. And then we'll start on the sauce. Why aren't you reading them? Because there's nothing there. Yeah. They talked about butter. No. Well, you didn't tell me to go back to Well, yeah, I haven't read any of these. <laughs> spices. I do not use spices. Um, I actually like my taste buds have changed so much that I kind of prefer it without that being said, when we do go out, I'm sure things have spices. I do eat chopsticks once in a while that have spices. Um, it just depends on how you tolerate them. I notice a difference when I have them. And no. so I would suggest, especially if you're having autoimmune issues or whatever, getting rid of everything and then maybe add back in spices and see how you feel. But I prefer bring yeah. the whole thing. And there's one on there. Yeah. Would you eat battered meat? Um, I'm personally against any type of battery. I feel that people should leave their hands to themselves and that that's an issue for the police too. Oh Why do you God. keep walking over Because you have three inches behind here. You need to stay here. right here. No. Oh my gosh. Battered meat? No. The, well, well. Well, unless you make panko. I mean, yeah. pork rinds. No, anything battered is going to be like flour and stuff. Um, sorry. Just also tending to the children. What's in the bowl? So that had um, the, bowl? the pork muffin. So I'm making eggs Benedict, and that was my like English muffin. <laughs> I want to try kind of a diet to see and if it. Let's push this out so you can like walk by a little easier. My fatigue and pain from. from we said uh, we saw that one. Yeah. Okay. The children, don't talk about that. Uh, um, spices. Okay, let's get one more piece. Did you recap the muffin ingredients? Oh, I did not. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate um, that. A fourth of a cup of pork rinds, a tablespoon of melted butter, one egg, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Mix it all up. Throw it in a ramekin in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, so this is going to... Welcome, we'll, Madeline. I wonder if Mary... They're saying, the sound, they're saying okay. the sound on here is Pop good. On, Jeff. Oh, but the sound on the uh, YouTube is off, which I understand because that's on an older laptop. Older? It's new. Okay, well, that's Sorry, on Sorry, I'm like so... <laughs> no, I don't hear anything of this. So we can, we have a microphone. We can hook up to that if we do this again. Is it bad? You. Like you really no, can't hear? No, just for, further away. It's fine. 
People can do See, it. that's why I'm yelling. No. You're going to bust drums on here. <laughs> Spices and rubs, carnivore friendly. Again, with carnivore, if you want to take it to gospel, technically, you shouldn't use anything but salt. But really, who cares? If, if you... Well, if, you it, if, it, okay. if it keeps you eating a carnivore... Uh, Hot. Way of eating, and you can handle if it. If it helps it be sustainable for you then, and you feel good, I notice a difference yeah. when I have it. Yeah, if, Not for the so, good. yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> okay, look at this thing. It's so hot. Look how cute. I'm so excited. Yeah, if you love yellow mustard and that keeps you eating carnivore, go for it, buddy. Okay, Kelly Hogan has yellow mustard, she's the carnivore queen. Yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever works. Yes, it doesn't need to be like uncut. religious oh. about it if things work for you and if it keeps you eating on track and you can always play around with taking things out. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Get this. All right. Let's get this guy out. Probably let him cool, but you know me. You know I can't let anything cool before I touch it and eat it. Any foods or cuisines you miss or wish you could try? Well, for me, so cute. Can you guys see? Oh, hot. I don't you know, <laughs> a lot of carnivores will say they don't miss anything. And it's it's a weird thing. I, I wouldn't say necessarily miss. Well, maybe miss. Miss maybe, but not crave per se. But yeah, miss having, you know, a slice of pizza, ice cream, but I feel donut, like well, whatever that case is. But it's it's more of a... Substitutes for all That's not the point. It's more of a... There's no real substitute for it. If you miss that, you miss that. I don't crave it. That's if you can make that distinction. I don't crave it, but yeah, I'm occasionally be like, oh yeah, right, kind of miss that. Um, social life. Uh, it honestly, you know, depending on where you are in your life, uh, it can be an issue. But um, just eat meat. I mean, you can get meat at any restaurant. Oh, I mean, unless you go life. to a vegan restaurant. Well, yeah. I mean, you just. That doesn't mean just restaurant. I mean, yeah, any restaurant you can go to, you can get what you want. And now you're going to be looked at a little bit like the the meat version of a vegan where they will go to restaurants and say, I don't want this, I don't want that, hold this, blah, blah, blah. But it's easier to do meat because you just do meat. But And you can say you have an allergy. So yeah, I don't want the other the stuff. The only but... real social thing would be if you do a lot of, like, dinner parties at friends or other people's houses. And if they don't know or if they're whatever, but... But people typically serve a meat when they're doing dinners, yeah. and then you just eat the meat and leave it alone. So you're yeah. you're toying. If you if you don't want to explain yourself, you say you're you're having some like stomach issues and you're doing an elimination diet right now. Or just tell them to f off and you're gonna eat what you want to eat. Someone's asking about macros. Okay, hold on. Baking soda or powder? Baking soda. Okay, type of magnesium. That's a whole wormhole or rabbit hole. <laughs> um, there's about a dozen. And three, are, uh, some of them are pretty actually, I don't want to say toxic is the wrong word, but the different formulations provide yeah, different maybe. benefits. So, and I, I, I forget them off the top of my head, but um, I think thionate's a good oh, one. But um, look them up. I'll see if she has something. But For magnesium? Yeah, I take glycinate. Yeah. Yes, fish. Um, but you absolutely can eat butter. Um, recipe for muffins, that'll be out somewhere here. Um, yes, we did California and their uh, daylight savings. We did that. Uh, okay, I don't geez. know if everyone can see. I don't know if YouTube can see. Okay, so here's my tip for getting the egg yolks. <laughs> yes, no, can't go to any Indian people's houses. <laughs> Um, actually, one thing I do miss. I want to talk real quick. Excuse me, this is the Jeffrey Luna show. I, I'm going through the things. Is um, Thai food. Had Thai and all that. All right, okay, on. so I know she's right here. Thanks, buddy. Okay, she's crack an egg in a bowl, separate the yolk with your hand, and then put it in a different bowl. And that way, you don't ruin your whites because you can save your whites and make. Um, oh wait, yeah, and make cloud bread. So put this in a different bowl, and instead of. So this is why I have three bowls. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna be cracking in here. 
So I'm going to have my egg whites in one, my separated yolks in the other. This one got a little white in there. And you don't want to ruin like this. I just poked it. And you don't want to ruin it with other egg. Does that make sense? I haven't even had coffee what did you yet just today. Say? So I'm going to crack my new eggs in here, separate the yolk, put it in the yolk bowl, and then I'm going to dump this in the white. So that way, if you're cracking an egg and the yolk breaks, you're not ruining the whole bowl of egg stuff. Um, so it goes in there. I'm going to take the yolk out and dump the white in there. So that way you have clean yolks, clean whites. You don't ruin the bowl. Carry on, sir. Ratio of fat and protein. Um, said gained a couple mm -hmm. pounds. Um, I would start out well, even. Your goal weight. Yeah, well, a, a couple things first. On the gaining two pounds, um, do you have a scale that measures body fat as well as weight? Um, and are you a male inclined person or a female inclined person? Um, because if you're a woman, you know, it's going to, you're going to fluctuate more often, obviously throughout the month. Um, but typically, yeah, one to one fat. Um, but some people do 80, 20, 80% of calories from fat. Uh, you just got to figure out what works energy. for you. But I would start and, out. Yeah. With macros, I would start out just to make it easy. Whatever your goal weight is, like for me, it would be 130. I'm going to eat 130 grams of protein and 130 grams of fat. And then adjust from there. That's technically 70-30 yeah. carnivore. 80-20 is trending. 60-40 is a lot of protein, and that works yeah. for people. So I would just start out with like equal equal ratio, give or take, and then tweak it from there. Yeah. Sorry, here comes a big head in front and, of everything. Uh, oh, well, here comes a waterfall. Sorry. Um, it also depends. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to maintain? Uh, let me scroll down. And so much Hold goes on. into weight loss. Like, and how's your sleep? How's your stress? What's your lifestyle right. like? But again, it just comes down to, are you trying to lose, gain, maintain? Are you a man or a woman? Are you trying to build muscle and work out? Um, it all depends. Uh, but we can address that more. Do you eat fruits and vegetables? Um, I'm personally offended. But, uh, no, no, uh, we do not. Chicken, uh, yes. Uh, chicken wings we love. Buffalo Wild Wings does tallow. Check fried. yours because apparently yeah. they're changing. Not all of them do. It just, it's yeah. So it's don't still. come yell at me. Everyone, like, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy kids yeah. out there. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Flying Dutchmen are the best. John, did you see John's here? He's promoting Flying Dutchman. It was yes. so good. Okay, so I got my yolks in here. We're going to make a hollandaise sauce. Can you eat cheese? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you tolerate dairy, I think it's great. Um, especially in the beginning, I think it helps this be sustainable for a lot of people. Maybe down the road, I would play around with giving it up. Get, getting it out of your diet. Right. I don't know. It can cause cause like inflammation and mucus. Yeah. I feel better without it. He still has it. So KetoCon, yes, go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be there. Um, oh, use my discount code. I don't get. I don't make any money off of this discount code, but it saves you fifty dollars. Luna fifty will get you fifty bucks off your Keto Gone KetoCon um, ticket. Okay, so fifty-seven. Oh, someone mentioned. Woman, hold on. Salty something. I'll have to get back no to you. Scale. Get a scale right. that measures that so you can you track what you're doing. Obviously, if you're, you know, a 60-year-old woman, sorry to add three years, but, <laughs> um, you know, your goals are a little bit different. How much weight are you trying to lose? Um, and obviously, uh, fat is a big difference. You should still be lifting weights, I believe, strongly until you die. Um, resistance training, weight training, um, and do that. But... Uh, yeah, just if you're gaining, and you might gain because you're eating differently. So that might happen initially on this. You might gain a little bit of weight. 70 pounds. Okay, yeah. So, again, how long have you been doing it? So Because your body is going to adjust to this. And it could take a, a couple weeks. It could take a, a month um, of your body to adjust on how to digest and eat what you're now eating. So I would not worry about that for the first. Sorry, I'm looking at this. Not worry about that for the first um Sorry, I just realized on the TikTok, I've just been sitting over there not on it. But uh, don't worry about it for about a month uh, or so, unless you've already been doing that, okay? Okay, first week, yeah. Give it some time. Your body's going to adjust. You may gain weight, uh, may go down. 
get a scale. You can get uh, them as cheap as twenty, thirty dollars. That'll measure your fat and your muscle and what's going on with your ratio. A lot of water, and just oh. just do that and keep it going. And then, um, you know, if you continue to see that you're gaining, then just cut the calories back by five hundred or increase or lower the fat. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. Um, you're not having scissors right now, Arch. Okay, what other questions do we have? Or I'll just keep you, I'll update on what we're doing. Um, okay. I'm getting the four yolks. We're gonna do a tablespoon of lemon and then add a half a cup of butter melted slowly as I use my immersion, immersion stick blender for the holidays. Bacon just finished in the air fryer. The water is simmering. So I'm gonna make the sauce, poach the eggs. Oh, let me toast the, I'm gonna toast that chingadera. Okay, butter, that's what I was doing. Okay, so half a cup of butter. It's a stick, I think, right? All right, let's put that in. Okay. Let's see, do you ever get tired of eating meat? That's gonna struggle some days. You don't want me. I don't. Are you are you carnivore right now? I would get stuff like when I was keto and I would have meat and veggies and I would like meal prep. I would get sick of that, but I feel like your taste buds change this way and like things just change and like I get excited and I crave it. Um, Do I track my macros? What is your yeah. fat and protein goals? I have trouble losing weight. I actually gain when I switch to carnivore. Um, so yeah, we touched on like the fat and the protein. I'm not tracking right now. Um, I did. I did in the beginning just to make sure I was eating enough and make sure that I wasn't eating like too much um, while my hunger cues adjusted. So yeah, I'd be curious to know like, if you are tracking your macros, what you were at. But yeah, I mean, the, the goal weight with the equal fat and protein is ideal. And then I think the, um, if you type those in, I believe it kind of figures the calories out on its own after that. Like mine were around like 1,800. Winning people hate all the time. Bruce. Fabulous. <laughs> Muffin recipe. Quarter cup pork rinds, tablespoon of melted butter, one egg, quarter teaspoon of baking soda in a ramekin for 90 seconds in the microwave. Voila. I cut mine in half and I'm going to toast it up. It's fine just how it is. Um, but I'm just making, thinking of mine as an English muffin. Yeah. Uh, you can overeat technically anything. So those, uh, the butter candies. But again, with if you're eating just carnivore, it's difficult to truly overeat, especially when you're overeating butter because you're just going to eat what you eat. That being said, um, it's up to, I mean, if you're gaining and you don't want to gain, then cut down from 300 to 200 of those. <laughs> I would focus, yeah, on meat. And if you are tracking macros and you're not losing, I would, well, make sure you're eating enough. I feel like a lot of people are not eating enough. But so if you're eating too much, you think like lower your calories by 10% or like 200 or so. 200 calories. Try again. Okay. About a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, hmm. and yes, this is not strict carnivore, so you don't have to use it if you don't want, but I'm fine with it. Rarely have it. Can you use cornstarch to thicken beef broth? I wouldn't. I mean, it's from corn, so I don't eat that. Um, if you want to thicken beef broth, I would. I mean, if are you making it yourself? I would add in some chicken feet. That adds nice collagen to it. Are you okay. going to change? I don't know if this is quite going to reach over here. Okay. okay. Shoot. All right. You I got to go back in. Just hold it. Well, no, I got to pour something in. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Barely fit. I should have tried that out. Okay. Four I yolks. Had a nickel. Four yolks. Lemon juice. Yeah. Lena. Table, you're distracting me. Tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, I'm not even in that. Story one. Tablespoon of lemon juice, and I'm slowly going to add 
a half a cup of butter that's melted while I blend this up. Stay there. Can anyone see? I guess you can kind of see. You're in the way a little bit. I'm not. Oh, here. So slowly so you don't scramble your eggs with the hot butter. baking my bacon in here. Well, I guess the stove's still kind of warm. You just set this on the stove. It will keep warm a little bit. What did I use this for? Is this clean-ish? Right. It looks so good. So you could do the same okay. ingredients. You would, if you wanted to do the double boiler, if you don't have a thing, you would, you know, boil some water, put another bowl on it, whisk the yolks, and then slowly add the butter. And then cayenne if you use cayenne, but I'm not. Mmm. I'm double dipping. It's so good. It's a little salty. Mmm. It would be soup. What are your go-to meals? Anything you cook every week? Family favorite carnivore meals. Honestly, we're so simple. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Um, lots of burger patty. Oh, shit! Literally on fire. You guys see, no one warned me about the fire. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're okay. We'll burn the house down. Um, there's a little fire in the toaster oven. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay, we do a lot of burger patties. We do um, steaks here and there. I guess that's it. Hot dogs, um, occasionally, lots of bacon, what? hard boiled eggs. Yeah, there, it was on fire. What was? Things in the toaster. <laughs> the muffin, crumbs. A little burnt. That's okay. All right, so we got the sauce. Crusty. Actually, I, I wasn't even thinking about making the butter hot. It melted, but it wasn't too hot. So it's warm, but it's not hot. I might actually. Is it warm or hot? Is it hot or warm? It's just like warmish, but it's fine. I'm afraid I don't want to like microwave it and have it um, uh, scramble. Go to meals for the family. Yeah, I'm just kind of rattling okay. off just how simple we are, though. So simple. Okay, let me set these on the side. Okay, so we're gonna do poached eggs. You want to be at like a simmer. And you want to use the ramekin. And... I see a rose there. A rose? Oh, thanks for the roses. Oh, I thought you meant... I thought it, it was rose coming in. Oh. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Okay. I eat bacon. I gain weight. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I love bacon. These aren't even clean. That's clean. <laughs> What'd you do? Um. What are you looking for? Vinegar. I don't think we have any. Just use. Okay. Use lemon. Normally, I would put white vinegar. Well, we can. Can you reach the apple cider? Of course I'm sure I can. it's fine. Okay, grab the apple cider. Just use put lemon. a little bit of um vinegar in the water. It helps bacon. the um. Oh yeah, it's part. The thing that just left it. Right behind there. It helps keep the keeps the whites together as they're spinning. So when you get it to a simmer, <laughs> you're gonna go like this. Everyone see? Okay, you're gonna create. I thought like that spear a, people were too many got together. A litter, a litter. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. You're gonna create a little whirlpool. Put your egg in here, and then you're gonna slowly like dump it in go, go, and let go. it kind of like spin and cook Give it me. for like a couple minutes. Um, and then you're going to want to scrape it out. 
Not scrape it out. Scoop it out. Dollop. Not yet. Just set it down. Yeah. Yeah. Can I eat this bacon? No. Why not? Uh, oh, it's for the thing? It's for the thing. We'll have a few pieces. Oh, you're Scoop not it out. The, you're not making the wheat? What do you think this is? Scoop it out. A put it on show? A, Put it on a paper towel and that way it will like get off any like the weird little things to make it more aesthetically pleasing. I guess this isn't like a restaurant, but that's how I used to do it before I served my yacht guests. I want to know um, what you do with your hot dog consumption. Um, I have a couple a week and I, yeah, do I dip in mustard or sour? No, I just eat them plain. I dip mine in sour cream. You put sour cream on everything. Did you already touch on the been carnivore since the beginning of February and weight is not coming off? I mean, we talked a lot about weight. I just didn't know if she yeah. was here or he to hear everything since, we said. Since February. Does that mean February 1st? Um, so much goes into weight loss. And, I would yeah. um, make sure you're eating enough. Make sure you're not eating too much. Maybe find a calorie calculator. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Since the beginning of February. And just get an idea of where you should be at um, and just see, like, Well, again, where... yeah. All right. Go. Well, <laughs> in the middle of talking. Well, sorry, I'm going to give the... Go. All right. So, okay, mama. So, woman, um, how old are you and how much do you weigh and how much do you want to lose? God, I keep forgetting the talk is over here. Loretta's late to the party. Unacceptable. Um, Mio for water. Did you talk about that? I'm not sure what's actually in the, the Mio droplets. Um, no, I would probably say whatever it is, I would say no. Because it's obviously something. Okay, can you move, please? Okay. We're swirling the water. Um, We're gently placing this in. And oh, shit, I didn't do the vinegar. Okay, right. so country mama. Okay, yeah, so that, I mean, that's that's a typical thing. Um, so you've been in it for about six weeks now, and you said you haven't lost anything. Again, I, I said this to the other person. If you don't have one, get a scale that measures your body mass, your muscle mass, your, your fat percentage, all of that. Um, so get something that actually, you have food right there. Then you're not hungry. Yeah. How do you feel? How do your clothes fit? Clothes fitting, and again, it, it does take a while to adjust back to this. Um, so yeah, you've been about six weeks. If and you can under eat and not, and that can go against you too. Yeah. I would get an idea of what, like, what's your height, weight, all that. Get an idea of like what your calories should be around. You don't need to track every day, but just get a I visual mean, of what that looks like. Typically, it's going to be like between a pound and a pound and a half of, of meat, <laughs> and then maybe like a, an egg and a few pieces yeah. of bacon or whatever, like it's gonna be like that. So you've been doing this for six weeks. So one, the scale, get the scale. Track, uh, you know, the great thing about carnivore is you typically don't need to track anything, but if you have a specific goal of losing weight and you haven't lost, for one week, track what you eat. Uh, track it down and see how many calories you're having, the fat protein. I know it's annoying, but do it for one week. Don't adjust anything. Just see what you normally do and track it for one week. Then assess that. How many calories are you having on average a day? Um, how much fat? How much protein? And like like she said, you could be under eating or you could be too high in protein. Because especially with women, but in general, if you're not eating enough fat and it's just high protein, protein um, can go into gluconeogenesis, which turns... Uh, excess protein into glucose and you're getting that that sugar you're just keeping you in ketosis so that could be a factor so you might need more fat or you might be overeating and you need to cut it down by 500 calories or whatever the case is because at some point you're going to hit homeostasis with carnivore or any diet and your body's going to level out and you're at basically go <laughs> okay. okay, so the muffin's done. Got the bacon on it. Sorry for the kiddos. I'm full at 1800. Um, yeah, I don't know much about the VSG. I know there's people in the carnivore community that had that. 
um, lost 35 in two months to change your life. That is amazing. Very cool. Um, I eat two to three meals a day. I find like the OMAD, I can't, um, I can't get everything in. I need at once and it feels like I'm binging. So, okay, let's get these out. Oops, that one's not it. Let's see, that one was in, oh shoot. All right, that one's gonna be overcooked, awesome. Got a little distracted. And that one just broke, awesome. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, today is not my egg day. So we'll take one of these off. All right, let's plop that in. Uh-oh, that's starting to break too. All right, plop that on. Come on, stay. And then we're going to pour some of our sauce on it. I guess we'll just pour it. So that sat on the oven and kind of stayed warm. So good. Are you all ever going to let your kids eat fruit? So they eat fruit. My kids aren't strict hardcore, but we don't really like to talk about it because people are assholes. But yes, they eat fruit. You miss how I made the muffin? Yeah, the muffin's on here somewhere. Um, but I will put everything... I can edit this after it like goes on my page and I can put um, on YouTube, I can put the, the recipe again, but quarter cup pork rinds, tablespoon of melted butter, one egg, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, mix it all up, ramekin, 90 seconds in the microwave. So here we go. Just pour some of that yummy sauce. I swear I could eat this sauce like a soup. Voila, there we go. I don't know if you can see it's kind of hard to see okay guys Woo. so that's it you want to eat it no, i'll have that it's one it broke. Degrees. it's not everything's it been i can out. see it from mars everything's been sitting out the muffin's been sitting there for a while um so if there's any other questions before we go why don't you taste it and let everyone know how it was this is broken and overcooked do i have to be honest yeah, be honest. Daddy. Use a fork. Is that how you eat eggs, Benedict? Yeah. <laughs> Would you Daddy. like a fork? Mm. Daddy. Mm. Daddy. Oh, good. It's good, right? Oh, my. Just... I'm not a, um, what's this called? Pork rind thing. Pork rind ah. thing. But there's enough other stuff that. That's good. This is going to be a hot mess. I'm going to eat it in my mouth bowl. Are you stealing bacon, little girl? All right. Mine broke. Mm. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Last call for questions, and then we're out of here. Mm. Here, Stay right there. Stay there, buddy. Here, have a bite. Open. Messy. Mmm. Mm. What's in the jar? Mmm, good. Hollandaise. It's good, huh? You like Holland the hollandaise days. stuff? Four yolks, one tablespoon of lemon, half a cup of melted butter, slowly added as I used my immersion stick blender. So super easy. You don't need to be double boiling, whisking. Only oh, there's not. Uh, we're so disgusting. <laughs> These are carnivore people. <laughs> yeah, Five weeks people. now, and I've lost just over 20 pounds. Don't let the other nice. one hear you. you I'll be upset. Don't let country mama. Without exercise, but I have just started mm -hmm. exercising again. That's awesome. Great for you. Yes, if you're watching on TikTok right now, this will be saved to YouTube. And I will put all the... No. Okay. Yeah, but... um, recipe details in the description. What are ways to get more fat? for the past two weeks, haven't lost weight. Need to try less protein more for yeah. Um, if you're eating ground beef, make sure it's 80 20 um, or higher. Some places can do higher, so do 80 20. Um, add more butter to whatever else you cook, eggs, and fattier cuts of steak. So, it depends on what you're eating. 
Eat butter. Add butter. Sticks of butter. If you're trying to get that. Quiet! Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, next time we'll have my mom watch the kids. I don't use seasoning. I mean, sometimes I'll have stuff with it in. Like, I'll have a chopstick if I need food and we're out and about. Or when we're, oh, like, come on. eating out, I'm sure stuff. I mean, so I try not to be religious about it. I prefer not to use them. I can tell when I'm when I've had spices. It just doesn't totally agree with me. I'll I won't go into the TMI on what I noticed. Anything else? Grass fed. Carnivore so, Benedict. Um, personally, first of all, eat whatever you can afford. Um, if all you can afford is the five dollar tube meat at the store, that's great. Um, if all you, if you can't afford grass uh, fed or finished, that's fine. Personally, we prefer grass fed, but grain finished. Well, they're all going to be grass fed technically. It's just the finishing process. If they're yeah. finished, yeah, they're all okay. eating. They're right. all eating grass. It's just the finishing process. The last thirty percent of their lives, if they're being fed grain or if they're still like roaming around eating yeah. grass, we don't now, like grass finished. It it's hit and miss. Sometimes, honestly, like. It can taste a little fishy. Now, I love a good regenerative farm. Um, I think that's like the way to go. It, it's just weird because it's like, okay, well, we're not eating grains, but then again, the cows do something different. They got the four chamber room in it, the stomach. So, again, it's, it tastes it tastes better. I would yeah. say. Exactly, grass finished to me tastes gross. Tastes like ass, fish ass, um, rotting anchovy fish ass. But that's just me. And most people, but again, <laughs> um, so yeah, eat whatever you can fit into your budget and what you like, because again, this is, these are all like splitting hairs, branches of the same tree. And if you're a carnivore and you're cutting out the fruit and the vegetables and the grains and the sugar and seed oils, and you're eating meat, then that's good. Ideally sticking with cows primarily. But if you love chicken and love fish and you want to do that and you can maintain the fat and the energy and the calories, then then go for it. But I would argue you'd probably feel a difference. I can tell a difference if my beef has been light that day. I don't feel as, like, amazing um, if I'm having, like, a heavy chicken wing day. Uh, fish, um, when we do pretty much just salmon for the most part, I will occasionally eat some uh, or tuna tuna fish, we'll tuna bowls. Tuna, I like my tuna melt bites. Oh, yeah, you make your, oh, you also make the tuna critters or whatever you do. That's what it is. Yeah. Same thing. Why primarily beef? So beef is a, a ruminant animals is what you want to stick to. They have the, the chambered stomachs that I can't get into exactly, but they do something to. They're kind of like fermenting it. Yeah. And they're just more nutrient dense. If you take the, all the nutrients available in a steak versus a pork chop um, or a chicken. It's there's much more nutrients available in that. You can get almost everything you need out of that. So, no. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, kids. Uh, the English muffin was uh, pork rind stuff. Oh. All right, sorry. We're gonna have to go in a minute. I think the kids are right. over here trying to get our attention now. What did I said the English muffin with? I made um, an English muffin out of pork rinds, pork rind, egg, and butter. Um, thanks for being here. This was so much fun. So cool. Okay, I think I got all the questions, at least that I can see. I can't reach to scroll. Um, but yeah, if you go on YouTube, this will be saved. I'll put all the recipe details in the description there. And oh, and think, that might be my mom. Me and Jeff get a few hours to ourselves today. Um, and we didn't want to waste one hour of it being during the live. We thought we could handle the kids and the live, but guess not. So next time we will have Gma here while we go live, just so it's a little less chaotic. Any tips on trying to find a low-carb carnivore doctor? Need something who understands. There are food. some sites out there. I forget what they're called. Go ahead. Go, go. 
That's it. There, there are some sites out there that list carnivore doctors or keto doctors. Um, I think it's called like find a doctor or something. There's some out there, but I forget what they're called, but it's going to be very few and far between, honestly, to find a GP. Yeah, I mean, so I'm sure there, I mean, I know there are some out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just, they're not, I mean, you talk to any of the carnivore doctors, they're like, we're not taught nutrition. I mean, there's like a six hour thing of nutrition and it's just, it's BS. Um, so yeah. Okay. I guess that's it. We're going to go. I think we got it all. Thank all you guys. Right. So much for being here. So much fun. We'll try and do this more often because this is what I like. Your doctor is starting carnivore. Awesome. You like 10 in the entire country. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, they just don't know better, unfortunately. That's, they don't think to get to the root of the issue. And, and and to be fair to them, most of them, I mean, your doctor, you don't have time. Your, your job isn't, although arguably nutrition should be at the base of everything. They don't have time to get into all the nutrition and everything. So they just go through the chain of everything. So most, I believe, are just out of ignorance. And um, and that's on, real quickly, the ignorance thing. Calling someone ignorant or being ignorant is not a, it's not diminutive to them. It's just without knowledge. So they're ignorant to Then why do you tell me nutrition. I can't tell people they're being ignorant? Because they, they really perceive that. <laughs> As that. But when speaking like this, doc, a lot of doctors are just ignorant when it comes to uh, nutrition. They've been told lies for 50 years, and that's, you know, most of them are in a good place. They they believe they're doing good, so that's where that, it's tough to kind of address that. They just don't know better. I mean, my doctor told me um, that we're not designed to eat red meat, maybe some fish and chicken, and that red meat causes colon cancer. And I'm like, mm, okay. No. It's not true. So, Alrighty. military doctor. Awesome. All right. We should go. We're going to clean up and get the hell out of here while my mom hangs out with the kids. Thanks for being here. All right. Let's see how to end these things. <laughs> All right. My big fat face has to go right Yes. Wash the right. ingredients in hot dogs and bacon. Try to get the best you can. Yeah. And chickadee china. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.